Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the M172. In this part, we are going to continue with the project and implement the debugging tools. So, what we're going to do is to simulate the controller, use the watch, and check the I.O. variables. So, let's continue with the presentation. In order to activate the simulation, we need to go to debug, press in simulation and then we're going to see this window. We need to create a new workspace and then we are able to see that we are connected to the controller, the virtual controller. We're going to see that we don't have any code in there and then we can perform a download on it. So let's go to the software training open the same application okay if I open this just to remember this would be the installer what, what I want to do here is to open only the machine expert HBAC okay good so in the previous model, what we see is the implementation of the temperature control. Okay, we have created the function block and defined some variables that we can see here. Epron IO mapping status. IO mapping, the one that are connected to the PLC, the status variable, and the EEPROM. EPRON and status are configured here in the configuration along with the IO mapping. This part in the modules option EPRON and status. So now I want to simulate my application. I can click on here or I go to the bug simulation mode. I need to create an instance of the virtual PLC. So I'm going to put here and 172 virtual. OK. See, automatically we are connected to the virtual PLC. We have no code and we are in edit mode. This is the virtual connection. Here is the simulation of the PLC. If we click on the here, we can see the IOS of the PLC and here the PLC. Later, we're going to see that we can simulate the code of the display. So, just minimize this and show you the projects. Just to remember. This is the original folder. We have the installer part, the PLC project, and now we have the simulation here, the one I have created recently. So what we need to do now is to download the application. So we can download only the application of the PLC, but I want to use the download all. Connect connected, download all. Need to wait. Okay, good. Let's see some messages. Okay, so when we perform a uh, download all, we see this message download parameters default. So we're going to download everything. Okay, now in that message it says something related to the Ethernet. Okay, just about any problem with the communication, just leave it as it is. So we have source okay is the same, and now we can make a debug. So we can see here that we have the values of the EEPROM 
okay, that we had configured before. E okay, 24. And we can see how the values is changing. So what I'm gonna test here, sorry, this one. Oops, let's hide this show you for example gonna rise the temperature oops 20 good we can see here that we have 28 degrees is higher than the set point temperature plus the delta okay and the cooling output is activated so now if I want to change the why close this if I want to change there we go the value for the for this variable the EEPROM for example set five set we are not able to perform this option because we are not able to write directly to the EE from parameters. Okay, the same for the analog inputs, for example, read only variable. So let's continue with the presentation to show you something. Okay, we always need to perform a complete unload. Okay, and the first unload can force this is what I told you just recently, but I want to show you this. In order to write into the EEPROM variables, we need to use these function blocks. Says write in the target blocks. Okay, and this is the way we have an enable. We need to use the IDR and then the new value. They can be a new variable or just a constant. Okay. So if we continue with this, with the debugging, okay, I want to show you the watch. So we can drag and drop the variables here. And drag and drop this the set point and the output mm -hmm -hmm. the output the hue good and the alarm good so another thing that we have already configured if if we disconnect the the temperature sensor here it checks the value and it goes to true now we can access to the information inside this to check the code see this value is lower than this so there is nothing to do anything here the same is valid so it's false here it check with this value is equal and the alarm is activated so let's play with this 28 no 2.8 I forgot a zero here and the output is activated so it's useful to use the watch to check how the variables are changing okay or we can also see the code and analyze what's going on this is one way i'll show you this so if we want to analyze the ios of our plc we need to use some function blocks some structures inside operators and blocks target variables in this case, for example, I'm going to use analog inputs. 
and I'm going to use this one analog inputs. I can drag and drop into the watch and see the original value. Let me show you how it changed. So this is a good way to analyze and check the IOS of the PLC without downloading any logic. I just can connect to the controller and see this um, this structure that I show you here. Analog input output digital input digital output and I can see here okay the code the status of the variables. This is an easy way to check and validate. I'll show you this. Okay. Controller. Now it's time to you to make the same simulation. Okay. Program and simulate the code. And if you have any further question, just give us a call or send us an email to GB dash customer service at schneider dash electric dot com.